Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura and if you're looking for inspiration to make some super fun and whimsical wire crafts, you've come to the right place. I hope to inspire you to use your imagination and add your own special touches to the projects I share with you here. Now don't forget to give me the thumbs up and comment to let me know what you think and of course please subscribe. Clicking that notification bell is important too. That way you know when I have new content to share with you. Now remember, many of my designs are original, so don't forget to give me a shout out if you share to other places. So let's get started as I show you how to make one of these beautiful little twisted wire plant pokes. So today we're going to make the um, chaos wrapped or messy wrapped heart. Uh, using this jig. This is fairly small. You could go whatever size that you like. I wouldn't go too much smaller than this or you're going to lose the impact of this design. Um, and this one here I'm going to gear a little bit more towards Valentine's Day and I think it would really make a really lovely plant poke. So um, you know inexpensive little plant or inexpensive bouquet of flowers and you poke one or two of these in there and uh, it'll you know it would be very beautiful so the materials we're using is a rebar wire it's very heavy duty this is a black utility wire we just have a couple of snips here and um, some wire with these ones have teeth um, for grasping this wire as it's pretty dense actually it's pretty heavy duty so and then once again just my little homemade jig here and I've used this actually in a couple of my other projects that I posted last year and I will leave the cards up here in the corner for you to explore those designs as well so all right let's get started so what we're going to do is just start by wiping off this wire. It can be disgustingly dirty. You don't have to use this. I just like it because it's super inexpensive and you can get it at almost any hardware store anywhere in the world as a matter of fact. And it's just it's just a good a good material. So alright so we're going to start off at the bottom here. And I am leaving, oh, I don't know, this is probably about 12 inches or so sticking out from the bottom. And I'm just going to take and I'm going to, well, move that out of the way, I guess. Just wrap this wire around the jig. And I also have a video about using jigs and I'll also include that link somewhere in the video up top there so that you can have a peek at that as well. So we've gotten our the shape of our heart and these don't have to be perfect. And so what we're going to do is we are just going to cut off that wire there and then Take and just wrap this. Just wrap it a couple of times. Make sure it's nice and firm. Okay, let me get to the bottom here. That's where our teeth on our pliers come in handy. Because really, just grab that and force it to do what you want it to do. And you can wrap it all the way around or once you get to this end where it gets a little more difficult to maneuver, we could do what you want it to do, then just snip it off and then press it as flat as possible. General rule is run your fingers over and if you find a pokey bit you just gotta keep keep working at that. Sometimes it takes a few tries. All right, good. Okay, so now there is our hearts. We're gonna just play with it a bit here. Get the shape that we want. 
think I'm going to make this just a little bit sharper in here. By that I just squeezed it together, right, so it gave it a little bit more definition. It just helps, right, just helps with the design. All right, so there is our heart. We're going to introduce our utility wire here. And as we go along, we're just going to work off the spool for this particular part of it, this first part. We're just wiping it off, right? And that's actually not bad. Sometimes it can be super, super, super greasy. Okay, so now I'm just going to start by winding this wire. As you can see, I left the loose end here in order for me to weave around the heart. So then I'm just going to start running this wire randomly around the heart. And it doesn't have to be super tight. I got some sliding going on there, which is fine as well. So just take and we get build a a backing is what we're doing, right? So that not only is this filled quite nicely, but it also gives us something to lay our our curls up against, which just helps in in the design itself. And you did see that I went back behind on that wrap. And that's just going to give us multiple layers for this. So just some random, random wraps. And I brought this one back behind again because I do want to start filling in, getting some coverage on this corner here. And you probably notice that I am doing a couple of wraps on our frame or armature each time we reach a junction on the heart and that just gives it some stability that just keeps the wire firmly attached to our heart it from sliding too. I mean you're gonna have some movement with with this as it's just a random messy messy wrap but uh, okay well we're getting there with this part of it so just continue to wrap So now that we have finished our messy wrap, we just want to go in and we want to create a little bit of movement in these wires and that's quite simply by going in and giving them a kink here and there and that also tightens up your design, right? So um, I like to do this with quite a few of my projects and that's and you're, you're not seeing those straight straight lines behind, right? Okay, so now for the next part, we're still using our utility wire and what we're doing is we wiping it off, but we're not going to work on the spool for this particular part of it. And no length, just whatever you think you might be comfortable working with. So then I've snipped it off after we've wiped it and then I take it and we fold it in half like so 
and then it doesn't matter where you attach this so you can go down here you can go through there and what we're looking to do is to keep these two wires together so for this I've just I'm going to twist them together here just to hold them in place and then I'm going to work on them with the two wires together okay so now all we're doing is we are just going in and randomly creating some swirls and just by the sheer nature of this wire it will hold its place and now so what we can start doing is we can start taking and tucking these these little curls underneath the wires that we already strung here around our armature so then we're continuing to do the swirls and now this is important here just for the integrity of the piece is to periodically and in this case I did one two three swirls and then I have brought the wire in around my frame and anchored it in place and that's what it does is it just creates um, stability to the piece right so then we just continue making swirls very random trying to cover as much real estate as we can and by that I just mean making sure that there's swirls covering most of most of your heart right okay so I've done a couple more there so I want to run this wire underneath like this and don't worry about it being even and you know perfectly perfectly shaped perfectly spaced because that's not it's not what kind of a project this is and <laughs> as any of you that have been following along know I really prefer random to you know very stringent this is the way that that it's got to be done I really do prefer that I think um, for myself perfectionism <laughs> is not something that applies with the kind of projects that I the kind of projects that I enjoy making I'm a real stickler for the rules in real life and I guess this uh, this thought process with my craft is it lets me break some rules and it's just it's just fun to see what results you get just by being so random you know I think it's uh, I think it's seriously cool and I mean look at this look at how pretty this is is turning out it's really awesome I love it That does want to bend up, and that's part of coming to the end. Because, as I've mentioned any number of times in my other videos, that wire has a behavior, and that behavior is to harden as it's being worked with, which means it fights back, which means it gets some. Um, becomes more and more challenging to get it to do what you want it to do versus what is its nature and uh, it's just just the way that it goes and the longer pieces of wire that you work with the more likely that is to happen so bigger projects definitely stand a chance of the wire kinking up on you or breaking off or you know if there's any number of scenarios where that's concerned so so once again we got our wire on the spool and I'm just wiping it off and I don't have a lot of space to cover up here so we're not going to go 
terribly long with this one here. Folding it in half once again, creating that loop, and then I'm just going to pop it around the frame over here. That's approximately where we left off. And then start to curl it again. That's what I'm going to try and tuck under again, just to tack it in place. And I didn't do that through all of it, just in a couple of spots. Sometimes you just have to help it along. There we go. Okay, coming around to now. There's a couple of spots where I think I might, I might like to fill in a bit. So we're gonna come up. Sometimes these end wire ends are difficult to see amidst the chaos. I've created. Okay, I'm gonna do one more little swirl here. And the stuff does snag on everything. So just be patient. I know there's a few people that I know that they just said wire is not for them. It's just just not their thing. <laughs> And this would be why, right? It, um, it can be tricky to get it to do what you want it to do. Okay, so now this one I'm going to bring around behind, actually. You see how nice that is? Oh, I just love the f look and the feel of this. And then we bring it, determine where I need it to be, and I do want it to be up in this area. I want to fill this in. This is... Um, ended up being rather loose. A big gap there. Because if you're going to do it, you may as well. Oh, see, and I don't like that because it ended up being just this straight line back behind it. So, what I'm going to do is I'll come back up through the back and then just do a couple more, a couple more swirls. And that's what you have to do it. You just sometimes you just have to do it and then see see if it works for you or not. So I did another one there. I'm gonna tuck this wire underneath some that's sitting up top. And then give another nice curl in there. Yay, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, cool. Filled that in nicely. All right, so to finish it off, I just strung it in the back, and then I'm going to take and snip this off. And then taking those ends and tucking them down. Okay, and then I can play with it a bit, move those curls around. You can pull them apart a bit. Makes them a little bit, um, hmm, I don't know what the term is I'm looking for. Lacy, perhaps? By opening up those, opening up those curls. And it definitely, definitely fills it in a little bit more. Lovely. And there we go. That's our beautiful little plant poke. And this one's obviously larger. It doesn't have as much coverage. 
as what this one does and this one is one of several that I plan on making as a little wall decoration so but it's a good example for uh, so you to see the difference in um, the sizes the potential of what you can make with a messy messy wrap like this So here you can see a bit of a variation that I did on this same project and it's exactly the same. It's using the swirls to fill it in. Um, the frame was also made on the same jig as I had used initially for the first one. And um, so it just goes to show that there are um, variables, right? There's things that you can do with these basic designs to add a little bit of flair, uh, bling them up a little bit. So thanks so much for popping by guys and joining me to make these really sweet little plant pokes. I really appreciate you being here and don't forget to subscribe, comment and give me that thumbs up and click that notification bell so you know when we have new content. So for now thanks again and I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Take care.